Another six hours or so, uh, but uh, that's the best of it. That shot is for the next couple of days. First of all, we need the rain. Uh, obviously, with the moderate and severe drought conditions throughout the area, we need water, and we're going to get water. How much are we down? Well, since January the 1st, we're down about five inches in the park, Islip about six and a half inches in Newark, roughly about eight inches. So the rain is coming, and it could be copious city south. It's 60 degrees in Shirley, there's ice. There's the city, there's Newburgh, the winds are north and east, 15 to 20 miles per hour. The rain is creeping in our direction. It's steady. It will get in here, I think, give or take an hour of midnight. It'll be on the lighter side, and then it's going to jump start and come down pretty hard tonight into early tomorrow morning. Now, North Carolina and Virginia is up to eight inches in spots, and you can see considerable flash flooding there, and uh, power outages up to 200,000 reported. And for us up here, we're going to get in terrain. Now, the question is the modeling. At night, I think it comes down fairly hard between 1 a.m. and about 7 a.m. This is going to be the first round. Now you can see a brief break period setting up late morning into the afternoon, evening. Then an offshore low gets going. Uh, and this is a spinoff from the inner secondary low, if you will. And that will produce more moisture around here, I think, especially now on Sunday. That's the thinking. The break period will come on. On Saturday. Now, depending on the model, we're thinking one or two inches here in the city. Uh, and again, I think that'll be the spread more south, less north. Then we're going to dry it out. Uh, again, relax in Saturday is better of the two days. Next week on the cooler side and the drier side.